Hey, good evening. Good evening, teacher. This is so weird. Every time I enter Zoom now, I don't have my background. You change your, your computer or your... No, I haven't no. changed anything. Something is wrong with Zoom, probably. How are you? It's Monday. <laughs> and tastes like Friday. <laughs> it's been heavy. Yeah. It's been tough. But here, here we are, the survivor ones. <laughs> The survivor people. Okay. Welcome to our class. One more time. Are you ready? Yes. Have you checked the platform? Yes. Did you finish the session two and the midterm? Almost. Almost. Almost there. <laughs> On the way there. Um, meter. Yes. Meter. Yes, I finished. Nice. How was it? Um, twenty to twenty. Twenty out of twenty. Yes. It was easy. It was easy. All right. Great. Well, good evening. Isabel says good evening, everybody. How are you? Oh, nice to see you again. Yes. <laughs> okay. Say something. Yes. Hector says good evening. Oh, my God. Working. Hi. Hi, Catherine. Good evening. Everyone. Everybody. Okay. Hi, Vitalia. Good evening. Okay. Let's see who else. Who else is saying hello this evening? I see Lucy. I see Christina. I see Adriana as well. Say good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Uh, good, evening. More good evening. Good evening. A lot better? Better. Nice. You had some medicine. Yes. Vitamins. Really? Thingy. Wow. Yeah, it was necessary. Yes. Okay, great. Well, a lot of people have gotten sick these days, actually. Lots of people. Well, let's get started. <laughs> let's get started. We have no choice. Yeah, in the meantime, I see other people incorporating, which is great. Let's go and see the attendance. What day is today? Today is, today is Monday, Monday 7, November 7. November 7, 2022. That's right. Thank you. All right, let's see. Adriana. Present. Carlos. Not here. Christy. Present. All right. Hey. 
working. Ya yeah, pa. Eh, for ahora ya dentro de unos minutos, eh, no sé, hasta que termine la información, pero voy a estar pendiente de la clase. All pero right. no creo que pueda participar en los grupos, teacher. No problem. Thank you, thank you. Va a pagar tu quarters. Ah. <laughs> Isabel. Present. Catherine. Present, teacher. Lucy. Present, teacher. Mayra. Present. Present teacher, hey. Carlos. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. I, how do you say, agitado? <laughs> exhausted. 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 It's more than tired. <laughs> Nuri, not here. Okay, Roberto. Roberto Carlos, not here. Sam. Present. Vitelia. Present. Walter. Present teacher. Wendy. And Irma. All right. All right, all right. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> I see. It's getting heavy and heavier every day. Let's introduce the topic for today's class. Here we have. Yes. Definitely November 7th. Yes, Monday. This is our class number 15, actually. After this class, we're missing 10. <laughs> 10 more. Okay. Well, we're going to get started by um, checking the objectives for these new lessons. It's going to be interpret the information presented in a staff schedule chart. Yeah, I think on Friday we started talking about schedules, right? Saying, yes, my schedule is from 8 to 5, from 8 to 6, from 8 to 4 from 7 to 4, from 7.30 to 5.30. So, and presenting the activities that you are supposed to do like every time, right, of the schedule. Then provide effective strategies to avoid overstuffing and understuffing. Provide tips to monitor personal and improve workplace. Discuss advantages of employees surveillance programs and restaurants and identify key information about the advantage of employee surveillance program. So this is the beginning of the unit three. Check it out on your manual. Hopefully you have it already. Yes, great. So we're starting a new week and we're starting a new unit, right? So that's great. And the first thing, yeah, definitely we're going to talk about who organizes the meetings in your company, who organizes and who organizes the schedules and stuff like that, all right? So who's in charge of doing that? Okay, so I'm going to give you some minutes for you to describe what is the methodology, what is the strategies in the meetings in your company. For example, <laughs> I know it's gonna get fun. <laughs> You're gonna say, no, I'm in charge of organizing the meetings. I say Hours and hour for nothing. <laughs> we well, could fix it, we could fix it with a mail, literally. Usually. <laughs> <laughs> Or you're going to confess with your partners, you're going to take out this kind of frustration we usually get. You know, it happens to us some days that we just say, oh, we're just about to leave. And like in five minutes we leave, then all of a sudden somebody appears and says, people, we're meeting in the library. No way. <laughs> just happened today, actually. I won't say names, thank God. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give you the chance for you to confess with your partners about meetings at work, okay? 
So I know some people won't be able to join the breakout rooms. That's why I'm going to make a little bit big room. So at least two people have a conversation and confess about meetings, right? Let's see. There's no questions. There's no guide. There's no exercise to practice. You just feel free to talk about staff meetings at work. All right. She said that we have to feel uh, to feel free to talk about, I don't know, different kind of activity that we have to do every day. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right, teacher? I start. Okay. Um, first, um monday check the email for payment schedule okay according to due date Teacher. Hey. Eh, necesario que me incorpore al grupo porque no puedo participar. No, it's okay. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hi, teacher. I see. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hi, Good evening. <laughs> Sorry. <It's> okay. <laughs> la llamemos, pero no, ya la okay. casualidad que usted cabal fue cuando uno va entrando al aula y vaya, venga usted. <laughs> Así nos hizo todo. Really. <laughs> Entendimos que lo que sí. Todos así, ella acabó de entrar y ya me metieron en un grupo, ¿qué pasó? <laughs> no, solo desahogarse sobre lo, lo, la, los staff meeting en su trabajo. Ah, 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 ah. Eh, ya sabes qué le ha pasado, pero en realidad eso no es eso. Ah, ok. Yo, ya está, ya está eh, bueno, me ha pasado que nadie sabe qué hay que hacer. Yo apenas las escucho porque tengo solo una voz y no me sirve. <risa> Uh -huh. Okay, bueno. My, ¿qué? ¿Cómo se dice? My weekend. Uh -huh. It's very complicated. Uh, my mom is um, in hospital. Um, ya, ¿Cómo se dice? Ya le dieron el alta. She left the hospital. She left the hospital. The hospital. Okay. Uh -huh. um, but it's very bad. Um, Ah, va ahí como te, reaccionando a, 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 a los antibióticos. Es una infección en la vía urinaria, este chico. Urinary. Urinary organs, you can say. Okay. Urinary organs. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ese ha sido mi fin de semana, sábado y domingo. Ah, thank you. The 
Monday in the morning for one division, uh, Monday in the afternoon for the second one, Thursday and um, Friday the general. But um, in some case, my boss called us to uh, a quickly meeting or, or an emergency meeting, and you have to run. Don't matter where you are. If you are in San Miguel, you have to run to stay in, her, in his office. Uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, if you don't stay here, it, the hell is burning, and and, and you have maybe could you could pass thirty minutes waiting, 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 waiting. Okay, come in, and this instruction could be sending with WhatsApp, for example, or with a mail, and you don't have to. To get in a stress to what is he's going to say us, uh, but is the is the the culture from the organization. Mm. But uh, no, the panel, the Buddha, the contraction uh -huh. that they put in. Mm -hmm. the contraction. Just, mm -hmm. Just in in this. I was this. thinking. I was thinking that that and the first I was I was thinking that was a mistake. Well, I'm, I'm a, I'm in a mistake uh, mm -hmm. in the writing, but uh, mm -hmm. next day uh, I, I was thinking that was a mistake with the platform. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so too. I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Uh, uh -huh. But it's okay. The, oh, yeah. the most of the, the tasks are easy. I understand the teacher the we talk about the who organized the meeting. I don't know, but in my case, uh, the person that is uh, start the meeting and sometimes is my supervisor and other times my boss. Uh, my boss, sorry. Um, when I am, um, when there are meeting, uh, the supervisor call in a speaker um, to the um, all the co-workers uh, of the area and have a um, a lot of points um, to talk with them. And also, uh, if um, if uh, some co-workers uh, tell, I don't know, something about their work or the activities or, or some doubt, uh, so the co-workers tell, to the supervisor or the boss, um, and well, um, the supervisor or the boss um, do a semi, how do you say circulo? Um, circle. Circle, a semi circle or circle, and my supervisor here in the middle, and the old co-workers, and start with the meeting and talk to the all the points that he or she uh, must to talk with the co-workers or to advice um, um how you say? Anunciar. Uh -huh. suggestions um the like uh, the points um almost is about the control of the work the responsibilities the each co-workers um the, um, I don't know, like, uh, 
¿cómo di podemos decir como, bueno, the clean of the, all the area, uh, the area, the workers and in general, also. Sí. Sí, sí. Vendemos lo mismo. Ciertas cosas que son diferentes. Es que le iba a decir que tenía, entonces que si tenían una sucursal en el centro de San Salvador. ¿Cómo? Como un poquito. Sí, very complicated. Esta, ¿cuál es la que te falta, Grace? Ahorita. La sí. dos y la cinco. Se la, se la voy a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp. Vaya. Solo la copia y la pega. Muy agradecido. Porque yo creo que tiene que ver con la puntuación. Yo me perdí eh, un eh, eh, Tiene que ver con el apóstrofe que dijo la... Esa el, cosa. El, yo lo que hice, copié del libro el, el, la palabra, una, y la pegué y ahí me... En el sector eléctrico. ¿Perdón? Trabajo en el sector eléctrico. Ah... Misión. Same. Same. All the time. We. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> I yes, think okay. that the important is the way practice. Okay. <laughs> I have a problem to connect on oh, okay. my really, platform. Really... It's stuck. So for Me that reason, too. it's. it's... Mm -hmm. Pretty easy to to communicate something or reorganize or tell us some advice, a suggestion. I don't know uh, because um, the personal is is we are uh, um, a couple of coworkers that we have. <laughs> What about you, Fatima? Okay. Who organized the meetings in your work? I have three co-workers, but just is treasury department. <laughs> okay. We we have four with me. Okay. Like me. We are four with me. <laughs> with me. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. One is, is everything pay, payment to Ironman International, International. Mm -hmm. Me is just uh, local or Del Salvador, Del Salvador. And other is everything, es sister companies to Arma, no sé, como compañías hermanas. Mm -hmm. And our co-worker is just benefits and, uh -huh, or, and personal liquidation. Yes. Excellent. Well, we have different kinds of, kind of work. Uh, for example, you, Catherine, where do you work? I work. Yeah. Ay, la teacher ya no va a ver que estamos dando copia. Hola, teacher. <laughs> teacher. <laughs> Cuando hay que terminar el. Hi. El examen. Sí. <laughs> no lo habían hecho durante el weekend. No. no. Very busy, teacher. Too busy. Tonight, busy, entonces. Busy, busy. Very busy. Tonight lo podemos hacer. Ya vamos a dar un espacio, no me voy No me estar haciendo en grupo solo. <laughs> Don't do it in groups. Just share information. <laughs> It's okay tonight. Okay. No problem. You finished? 
Yes. All right. Yes, teacher. Okay, not everybody has returned. Let's wait. Let's wait a second. Yes, here's everyone. So we're going to choose one person for each of the group to participate. And describing how are the meetings organized at work. Okay, let's from group number one we got Elsie, Hector, Lucy, well Hector was not able to work because it's just as a listener he's working on something on a last minute request so Elsie participated, Lucy and Nuri right? Okay who's going to participate here in the general meeting? Mm -hmm volunteers or you choose you. i was i was talking about the homeworks because <laughs> we have a song some wrong quest wrong answers so many wrong answers so many wrong answers All but right. we didn't understand why <laughs> <laughs> and did you ask your classmates i yes uh -huh. but we think we, we think that are uh, uh like uh problems in the platform Mm -hmm. but and you haven't that, solved the problems yet um in my case i have one mm -hmm. but i'm i mean i'm doing i will doing my best all right because <laughs> i saw for man share two answers yes i i, I saw mm -hmm. that but mm -hmm. i i think in this in this night that this night is the night Tonight's the night. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. So nobody described the meetings at work. <laughs> well, I, we have doubts about the the, the topic. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. So now you can do it spontaneously. Nobody dares. From group number one, so we're gonna say, okay, maybe later. From group number two, we got Fatima, Catherine, Walter, and Wendy. Anyone? A volunteer? Me. All right. Walter work like technician. Mm -hmm. And Catherine work and factory company. Just mm -hmm. that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Did you talk about the organization of the staff meeting at work? Um, I talk about a little, little about my how my organization, mm -hmm. my department with my payments. Mm -hmm. I tell us, um, uh, I tell us like, I, I have the responsibility to pay the local payments to our man. Mm -hmm. And I start first with check the schedules according to date mm -hmm. to pay uh, and and after 
I request statements mm -hmm. with with email to providers and customers, mm -hmm. and then prepare the payments to flow to the banks. And and finally, I. I um, ¿Cómo es pedir? Ask for request. I request to manager mm -hmm. for authorization in the banks. All right. Just that the, the Friday, I just send the bank proof to providers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she practically told us what she does every every week. <laughs> nice. Okay, the third group we had Carlos, Isabel, Samuel, and Vitelia. Hmm. This is serious. Carlos said me he wants to participate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He was the, the volunteer. Okay. Was choice one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you, Samuel. <laughs> I appreciate it. Be my guest. <laughs> okay. Uh, in my case, uh, uh, we are two two types of meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, when when the meeting is only my area. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, are uh, every day uh, or by 50 minutes mm -hmm. is um, semi formal? Not very formal. What? Not very formal. Not very formal. Uh, mm -hmm. About uh, the working yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, to catch up. To update information. Yes. Mm -hmm. But when the meeting is maybe one hour or mm -hmm. one half an hour, mm -hmm. the charge is the boss of my boss. <laughs> my boss bosses. <laughs> my boss bosses. Yes. Uh -huh. Is this this meeting are uh, boring. 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 <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. uh, uh, these meetings are uh, serious. Mm, about the the working, uh, industrial safety, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Many, many, many things. Yeah, right. Good. Nice. <laughs> nice. The next group was Adriana, Cristina, Fermán, Irma, and Mayra. That was a big group. Okay, Fermán, tell us uh, her, uh, his mom is in the hospital. Um, hair has an um, infection in the um, se me olvidó como era la palabra en vías urinarias <laughs> the urinary system urinary system hair uh, hair is not fit well mm -hmm. just not feeling well Irma and me has flu for a very long, long time. Oh my God. She tell. Uh, Thank God we're virtually. <laughs> has two weeks with flu. Oh my God, that's for a very long time actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. One second, I just need to connect the computer.
All right. No one else? That was it? That's it. All right, good. Claps. Virtual claps. <laughs> All right. Now, let's check our manual. Yes, one second, please. Here we go. You might remember that last class. Eh, we're done with this, right? Thank God. <laughs> and then we start. What's your daily schedule like at work? This is something we already describe. We already share with our classmates. Who is in charge of organizing staff schedules in your company? Okay, I ask about meetings. Okay, who organizes the meeting? But you can also share about who organized the schedules, and that's something that we will do in a few minutes. Okay, so now we have a conversation. It says take turns practicing this conversation with the classmate. Ruben, Jenny, Ruben, Jenny, right? So it says, okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. So that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. We'll do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Okay? Obviously, as you noticed, this is conversation that practically takes place in a restaurant right so the person who is in charge of creating the schedules or organizing the schedule must be the manager okay the person in charge in this case Ruben right okay let's check your schedule for today Jenny all right the person that does the part of Jenny is going to have it easy. <laughs> you have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. But imagine from 11 to 1, you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. So in the morning, she works for two hours from 9 to 11. Then she goes to lunch. Then she covers from one to six. So she serves as the hostess, right? And then probably she goes home, <laughs> okay? So this is the conversation. Is there any question about the vocabulary or pronunciation? Let me know, please. What is hostess, teacher? The hostess is the person, okay, who welcomes the customers in a restaurant, but it's not the waiter or the waitress. It's just the person that receives the customers, right? In the case of a man, would be a host, but in the case of a woman, it's a hostess. The waiter, waitress. Yes? Mayordomo, I guess you can say in Spanish. Yes, okay. okay. This is female. Yeah. Yes, for female is hostess, right? Not all the restaurants have a host and a hostess, right? Probably the first person that you get to talk when you get to a restaurant can be the same waiter, the same waitress. But a host or a hostess at a restaurant, let's say, has a little higher higher position because they are only receiving the customers. Okay. The only host is for men. For men. Mm -hmm. But a restaurant, a restaurant host, right? Because if you talk about host at a hotel, is the whisper.
Teacher. This is it, yes. Hostess is, is huésped. But at a rest at a hotel. But in this case, at a restaurant, is the person that works receiving the. the ah, mm -hmm. the, the that's the what I'm saying. Door, the exactly. Door. Who opens the, the door, uh, gives you uh, the welcome, greet you, and yeah. assign you a table and blah blah blah. But doesn't serve the food. Mm -hmm. but that's what, <laughs> exactly. But that's what I'm saying. It depends of the environment. Yes. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you, teacher. All right. Oh, when you give a party and you are the one that have, I mean, you are the one that invite other people, you are the host. El anfitrión, that's what another, another translation. So. Okay, any other? No more? Sure? No, teacher, thanks. All right, cool. So, as you may see here, you have another activity. And here you see host, hostess, right? Host is for masculine, for male. And hostess is for female, right? Okay, in the vocabulary practice, it says match the name of the staff member to the right description. You have the executive chef, server. The server is what we say the waiter or the waitress, right? The host or the hostess, the kitchen manager, and the cashier. Okay, so we're going to work on these two exercises. We're going to practice the conversation first. And after you practice the conversation, we are going to read the names of the staff members, okay? Or the, let's say, the roles in the description, right? So this is something you can share with your partner, you can discuss, you can compare so that you can get to the right definition of each of the words. All right, let's see. I'm going to give you the opportunity to work with somebody else. So we're going to, hmm, maybe looking at another room and then we can recreate, let's say, yes. Much better now. Ah, cuando estoy en el restaurante, ah, ley es la calle. <ríe> Digo yo. Pues. Sí, tendría que. Eh, pienso lo mismo, cashier. Cashier. Uh -huh. Ya. Pongámosla aquí de una sola. Ay, espérenme, vamos a ver si podemos. Yes. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. I'm you Ruben are and you are Jenny. <laughs> okay. You agree? Okay. I agree. I agree. Okay. Let's check. Uh, okay. Let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start convening for Gladys as hot says today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. You're welcome. Okay. Now, Catherine, with you again somewhere. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm still the Ruben. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start converting from Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve from the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Then. Afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the remember. Remember. Okay. Ahora, ¿quién, quién más? Cristina. Sí. We are four. Rubén y yo. Other two. No, bueno. Yo Rubén, hoy Cristina y Jenny, y luego hacen el intercambio ustedes dos. Ah, uh vale. -huh. Ok. Le... Ah, ustedes Rubén, dele. <ríe> eh, ok, let's check to schedule today. All right. We have to start covering for Gladys at the hostel today from... Um, night to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. So that you can serve it for, for the rest on the afternoon until 6 p.m. We do, Ruben. Thanks for your reminder. Así se pronuncia esa palabra. Reminder. La última. Reminder. Or reminder. 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 Okay. Y ahora usted sería. Ahora Rubén. yo soy Rubén. Ajá. Carlos sería Jenny. Ok. Ok, puede ser Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Let's check to schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering, covering for Gladys as to host us today from night to 11 a.m. 10, you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Okay. Y Lucy está por ahí. Hello, okay, que Lucy. Saludó al principio. Hello, I was listening. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. You too. Okay, and match the names, no, or the answers, the questions. Carlos, y puede compartir la imagen anterior. ¿Dónde está la conversación? Okay. Veamos el ejercicio entonces. Ok, match the name of the staff members, the right descriptions. Executive chef, server, hostess, kitchen manager, and cashier. We had five words. Um, the person handling payments in the restaurant. Cashier. Cashier. A cashier, okay. A person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen staff and food standards. Executive chef. Um, kitchen sure? manager. 
I believe there is a kitchen manager because um, if you can see the another one is a person who hires staff, purchase food and makes ensure everyone is trained. Maybe the, okay. that, that position is executive chef. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What is your opinion? Great. Church. Executive. I think a person in church of creating menus is kitchen manager. Yes, I believe the same. Yes, a person hire, who hires staff, so I can contract al, el staff de the chef. From 9 to 11 a.m., then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that uh, you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. We do, Ruben, thanks for you. For the remind, 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 reminder, reminder, thanks for the reminder. Ok. Y esto lo vamos a hacer. Bueno, igual hagamos. Igual. Eh, ah, la pregunta. Payroll. Discuss this question with a partner. When does Jenny should start? When Cuando Jenny, Jenny inicia, catch it, catch it. Sí. Quiero ver. Turno. Jenny dice que. Turno. Sí, you have a start con. Cuando inicia Jenny. De 9 a 11. Uh -huh. A las de 9 a 11. Ah, no, ese es. Rubén. Eh, no, o sea, Rubén le está dando los horarios. Ah, el schedule ah, es el horario, es. Ah. Uh -huh. Entonces, este. De 9 a 11. Ajá, entonces le dice: You have to start. Ajá. Y sale a las 6 de la tarde. Uh -huh. Y you have back to regresa. You have, tú tienes que regresar a la 1 pm. O sea, le está diciendo que de 9 a 11 le toca el primer turno. O sea, después uh -huh. que la vaya a los Sí, echarse ahí los panes. ¿va? You have mm. to. Y tú tienes que regresar a la, una, a la una de la tarde. Y de ahí hasta las seis. Mero estafador esta cosa. ¿va? Pero bueno, está. Entonces, o sea, así, Jenny, uh, ese, entonces sería. ¿Cuándo regresa Jenny a su, a su trabajo en el restaurante? Que sería la una de la tarde. Start es comenzar. Yo entiendo aquí que dice uh -huh. when does Jenny. ¿Cuándo hey. Jenny? No, la segunda. Ah, ah, perdón, perdón. Sí, la primera es de 9 a 11. De, de, de 9, 9 a 6. Ah, no, es que dice él, eh, esa palabra comienza? chief, yo entiendo que es cambio, pero es cambio, inicial. Turno. Comienza el turno, creo que es, ajá, el, ajá. a las 9. De 9 a 11. De Luego 9 a 11. sale y regresa a la 1 de la tarde. Ajá. Yo creo que aquí solo es 9 a.m. Porque Ajá. es cuando comienza. Cuando dice Jenny viene hace su turno de una luego quizá, ¿verdad? Luego hace el turno de una a seis de la tarde. Que tiene el turno de una a seis p.m. ¿Cómo así? Cuando Jenny tiene el turno a seis. Ah. Y no estoy entendiendo esa pregunta. ¿Cómo no? Me... Espérame. ¿Qué tiene que hacer Jenny de 1 a 6 p.m.? Ah, perdón, tiene, no había visto. No entendí. Se me había quitado, pero ayer, ayer empecé otra vez. Hoy fue la. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice la última? Las de donde dice donde dice Jenny, donde dice Will, will do Rubén. Thank you for the remember or reminder. 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 Y hostess. Hostess. 
Hostel. ¿Cuál era la otra? Hostel. La, la yes. otra que no podíamos pronunciar. Serbio. Afternoon. No. Eh, com, eh, donde dice you have to start covering. Covering. Así se lee. Sí, covering. covering. Tiene que empezar a cubrir a la, a la otra compañera. Uh -huh. Covering for Gladys. Gladys. Eh, Gladys. Gladys. Uh -huh. Y teníamos que contestar las preguntas de sí. llenar el, 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 el vocabulario y después el de las questions. Ya, yeah. All right. All right. All right. Ah, pues leámoslo, Wendy. Ok. Va, dele usted en Rubén ahora. We have finished, teacher. <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay. Not everybody has returned. It's the waiting. Yes, they are coming. All right. All right, all right. Okay, before checking the answers, the exercise, let's have the second attendance. Let's see, Adriana. All right, Carlos. Present teacher. All right, Christy. Present. Elsie. Present. Hello. Hello. Fatima. Hello. Present teacher. Thank you, Fermán. Present teacher. Isabel. Catherine. Como sabes, si conseguimos la Lucy. Present. Mayra. Present. Present teacher. No me mencionó. Eh, yes. Se les dice que está ahí, no worry. Ok, Roberto. No, no, Roberto no se ha ¿verdad? Sam. Vitelia. Present, Walter, Wendy, present. I am here, teacher. All right, and Irma. Present, teacher. Thank you. Teacher, present. Hi. Sorry, no sé I didn't por qué no me regresaba, me regresaba la sesión. Solo me decía regresando la sesión. Ah, from the breakout room. No la dejaba regresar a la sesión. Ah, 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 sí, a veces the connection and ah, Zoom don't help. <laughs> okay. I know. Thank you. Bueno, ¿Qué tal estuvo el exercise? Easy, easy, easy. A piece of cake. A piece of cake. Yeah, actually, the conversation is pretty short, right? Very simple. Difficult words? No? All of them were easy. And the exercise of the vocabulary, simple as well. Yes. 
All right, nice. Okay, let's check. All right, we're going to listen to a couple of you saying the conversation first, and then we're going to check the exercise. All right. So the first people to participate will be. Okay, we're going to have Catherine as Ruben. <laughs> okay. And I can be Jenny, okay? That's no problem. Can I start, please? Okay. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hot, hottest day from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. So that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. We'll do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. We'll do, Catherine. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Someone else. Let's see. We're going to choose Carlos. Okay. You will be Ruben. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's check your schedule for today, Jamie. All right. You had to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You had to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the room until 6 p.m. Will do, Carlos. Thanks for the reminder. All right, Christy. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Okay. Um todo. No, you are Ruben. <laughs> I am <Okay>. Jenny. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> I was gonna say Ruben, but no, we'll do, Christina. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder, okay? All right, no problems? No. Great. Awesome. All right, the vocabulary. Executive chef, server, host or hostess, kitchen manager, and the cashier. Let me get them. The marker was, I don't know where it is. Ah, it's here. So here we go. Let me move this thing down here. All right. The person handling payments in a restaurant is? Cashier. The cashier, that is number? Five. Number five. I'm not quite sure if this is gonna be exact. Oh yeah, that's so perfect. <laughs> All right, the second one, a person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen staff, and food standards. The chef. The chef? Executive chef. Okay, the executive chef, that is number? One. Number one. Number one. All right, a person who hires a staff, purchases food, and makes sure everyone is trained. Kitchen manager. Number the number four, the kitchen manager. Woo. 
All right, a waiter or waitress who attends customer with food and drink. Number two. That's the server. That's the number two. A person who greets arriving guests, welcome them into the restaurant and sits them. Hostess. The host or the hostess. That's right. Oh, great. Great. Simple. Okay. Let's see. Walter. Who is the executive chef? Um well just read the definition. Okay, and it's a number one. It's a person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen staff and food standards. That's right. Ferman, who is the server? A waiter or waitress who attends customer with food and drink. That's right. Let's see, somebody else. We have Fatima. So it's a host or a hostess. It's a person who greets arriving guests and we come them into the restaurant and sits them. All right, nice. Let's have Mayra, who is the kitchen manager. Um, number four. Why is number five, teacher? Who, who hired the staff? <laughs> Well, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I have two number five, it's true. Ah, when I was writing the number five, person who had this stuff for right. food and made sure everyone is trying. Yes, my mistake. A person who hires a staff, purchases food, and makes sure everyone is trained. Mm -hmm. And the cashier, Lucy. The cashier is the person handling payments in a restaurant. Yes, the person that handles the payment, the person that handles the money, right? Easy peasy. Okay, questions? There are not questions. Are you sure? Sure, sure, sure. A hundred percent? Okay. Once again, let me just share the manual. I have it right here. Okay. Did you discuss these questions with your partner? Yes. Yes. When did Jenny shift a star? Uh -huh. You need to start covering for Gladys. You need to start covering for Gladys at? 9 to 11 a.m. Uh-huh. So her chief starts at 9 a.m. But because she's covering for Gladys. But probably her usual shift goes from 1 p.m. until 6. Right, but that day probably glad is sick. She has a permission. She didn't go to work, and so then she starts covering for her. It's like a substitution, right? Okay. What is Jenny's job in the restaurant? Uh huh. A hostess from night to. 11 a.m. Okay, she's a hostess from 9 to 11, but then at 1? Number 3, question. Mm -hmm. All right. One second, please. Give me one second.
Oh, yes. You have question number three as well, but... Ok. De las dos cosas que, que vemos en la conversación que le han asignado para ese día, ¿cuál creen que es el trabajo de ella? ¿Ser hostess o ser server? Server. Server. Y server. server. No, más probable es que es una y server, server. Right? o una waitress. Mm -hmm. Pero ese día, como la Gladys, mm -hmm. <laughs> ¿de qué anda haciendo? In the hospital. <laughs> or maybe she's sick or she has a permission, so she has to get early in the morning and she has to cover her, right? No les pasa a ustedes que cuando alguien falta le dicen, mira, si es que fulano no iba a venir, viene a ser más temprano porque para que lo cubra. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You're like, no. Yeah, I know. But of course, when we do need a permission, also some, I mean, someone else covers us. Yes. Theory. <laughs> okay. No, que ahí le tienen todo acumulado. Mira, la pinochita, todo. No lo ha hecho. Uh -huh. Most likely, her job is a server. She's a waitress, right? But what does Jenny have to do? O sea, está como que extra, ¿verdad? From, okay, from 1 to 6 p.m. She has to serve food and drink. ¿Sí escribieron las respuestas? Did you write the answers? Or not yet. Not yet. Let's do it. When does Jenny chief start? She starts working at 9 a.m. Because she needs to cover Gladys. Wait a second. Oh, Jesus Christ. Joshua. All right. Let's say that one. Okay, what is Jenny's job at the restaurant? She is a server, right? Okay, and what does Jenny have to do from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m.? She has to serve food and drinks. Yes. Bye. Okay. No questions? No problems? No. Okay. Ven este, este link está acá. I mean, there are two links, ¿verdad? Yes. Da, le voy a compartir el segundo, el vocabulary free exercises. Solo van a hacer como los primeros tres links que encuentren. Lo van a, lo van, ahorita se los comparto en el WhatsApp. Lo van a resolver. Pueden abrir otra pestaña, lo pueden como interactuar con su partner. A ver si lo están haciendo correcto. Vamos a ir al breakout room y luego les comparto el link para que ingresen, ¿ok? Hello. Have you opened the, the link? Both? I don't know. Yo, ¿y qué hacemos? 
Y dice, dice, these exercises are for you. All of the exercises are free. Todos los ejercicios son para nosotros. Teacher. No. Los, el link nos envía varios ejercicios visuales. Sí, solo hagan los primeros tres links. Bueno. One, two, three. Ajá, solo eso, solo es vocabulary. Y lo pueden estar eh, compartiendo la respuesta con, con su compañero. Por ejemplo, si alguien no sabe cuál es el número two, alguien más le dice. Mm -hmm. All right. Solo es vocabulary. The restaurant. Ok. Pero está en español, ¿qué hacemos? En, lo ponemos en inglés. Veamos si se puede poner en inglés. Y es que okay. ya no lo entendemos en español, ¿no? Debería estar en inglés, de hecho. Pero nos manda en español. Really, esa era por la configuración de Google, porque a mí sí me lo abre en inglés. Ah, ok, fácil. Me, me lo abre en inglés en el teléfono. Really. En compu, Ajá, esa es la configuración de su Windows. Ah, a mí me lo mal, ah, estas laptops ya deberían estar en inglés. Nah. No, pero a mí en el teléfono me lo manda en español. Yo también, puede ser por ah. el sistema. Ah, pues bueno, entonces, en, en inglés, llenamos ¿no? tenedor. No, Mayra. <risa> es que no lo vas a estar en inglés. Como no cambia la inglés, arriba donde dice language, la página. Ah, um, aquí um. Dice, es que es cierto, me lo está pidiendo en inglés o en español. Ajá. English lo vamos a decir, ok. Ah, pero. Teacher. Hello, teacher. We don't. Hi. Which of <laughs> one, two, three only. I <laughs> know, no, no, I said, two, one, two, three only. Okay. Let's scroll down. Mm -hmm. There, okay. the vocabulary. Ahí arriba lo tienen. Ustedes solo van a ubicar en los espacios. Cutlery, glass, tray, fork, knife, napkin, menu. Special. Okay, it's very special, no? The of the special of the special or the day. Um, La sopa no, del día. Yeah. Uh, the soap of the day. See the day is up. Mm -hmm. The soap of the day. La, la sopa del día is cream of broccoli. Ajá. Uh -huh. Number three. Oh, Our special deals okay. are late. Clothes. Table clothes. Clothes. Y por último está picture. La jarra. La jarra de cerveza. Ajá. Quiero ver si lo escribí bien. Picture. Ok. Hello, Irma. Hello, teacher. Nadie se unió con usted. ¿Lo voy a poner en otro grupo? No. Y no me carga el link, me sale otras cosas. Vaya, lo voy a poner con alguien que ya lo esté compartiendo. No problem. Ok. Thank you. Teacher. Hi. 
Uh, the oh. check check a score. Yeah, yeah. A ten out of ten. All right. So one, two, and three only. Okay. Uh, only one, two, three. Yes. Only. Mm -hmm. Yes. The okay. rest you can do it for fun. The rest of the days or when you're bored on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. Eh, salad. Soup. Sala. Sala. Soup. Soup. I will be back uh, with your rings. Regresaré con su bebida. Mm -hmm. Number seven. So. This meal consists of three courses. So the main, <laughs> the main course, the main course and dessert. Mm -hmm. The main course. Number eight. The chicken comes. Comes with your choice. Or a rice. Rice. Mm -hmm. With your choice of rice or potatoes. Comes. Comes, or right? The chicken comes with See, your what comes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sorry, we're fully completely book it or book or bake it. Eh, book it is como reservados, no? Están llenos de reserva. Uh -huh. Tables right now, no tienen ninguna mesa disponible. Um, Aquí tendríamos que ver cómo es el uso del verbo en, en pasado. Bucket. Creo que es bucket. Bucket. Sí. Bucket. Porque vehículo me sale que horneado. Uh -huh. <ríe> Okay, number 10. If you would like, you can wait at the bar until a table opens or comes, become available. Maybe it's opens. Okay. Opens. Do you put this curve? The key, the dio check score. Le salieron bien todas. En check score le dio. Uh, aún no lo he hecho. Ajá, uh -huh. check score. Ahí sería en check score. Solo me sale 10 out of 10. Y 
y es de 10. Uh -huh. O sea que todas están buenas. Ok. I'm working in my cell phone for the uh, Mm, let me see. For your job. No, it's, it's for that. For this. Let me see. Check score. Okay. I don't know if you want to make uh, another one. Yeah, number two. Okay. The staff toss. Yes. Up run. At run. Mm. Ah, de, de la escritura debe ser de alguna. No hay sala. No hay sala. No sala. Number two. Sup. Sala number two. Support. Harlot. Harlot. Is the fourth one. Shock. Um, <laughs> Yes, okay. Okay, no, I don't know. I don't know what will happen. Oh, yeah. Ah, se vuelve a la lista de, de, de ejercicio. Sí. Ok. Aquí, mire. Quiero ver si lo puedo compartir. Ahí dice. Ya regresé. Vienen los alimentos y bebida. Are in the, in the back or rear or the menu? Maybe it's in the back. Because the drinks uh, sometimes are in the back of the menu. Mm -hmm. 
Number seven. We have plenty of plentiful of many vegetarian options as well. Mm. What do you think? Plenty or plentiful? Plenty. Or no. Vamos a ver. Okay, number eight. Plenty or plentiful. Dejémoslo como, como plenty. Now, number eight. Follow me, please. I'll show or sit. Maybe show you. Show you. Or sit you. I sit you to your table. And sit you is more um, apologize, no? Mm -hmm. Or more diplomatic. <laughs> it's more natural to show you. Show you. Mm -hmm. You can get this in uh, number nine. You can get the salad on the side or separate. Not on the same dish as as the main meal. Is a separate? No. Separate. Yes. And number ten. It'll take or let's about all. And now we're to prepare. Maybe it's take. Mm -hmm. Let's check. Check the score. Say that, yes. How many? Seis. Nos equivocamos en varias. <laughs> yes. Sai. Mm -hmm. All right, how did it go? How was it? <laughs> Excellent. It's very entertainment. All right, I know the first three links was just vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And the other, obviously, as you go advancing on the, on the exercises, they get a little bit harder. All right, write in the chat whatever vocabulary you learn from these exercises. New vocabulary that you learn. Probably that you never thought it was gonna be like that. Write at least three words. Escriban al menos tres palabras que han aprendido from the exercise on the chat. 
Let's see. All right, credit card swipe. All right. <laughs> Uh -huh. I'm a little bit. How was this? Ashamed. Uh, no, no, un poco disléxico. Ah. Le di vuelta a las palabras. Okay. All right, Coster. Waiter. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? What else? Mm -hmm. Roll. Sinful. Tardiness. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Because Walter was doing from the advanced exercises, I think. <laughs> it was not doing vocabulary. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Apron. Mm -hmm. Bowl. Bowl. Like the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> you have heard it probably, but you didn't remember. Mm -hmm. When you go to a restaurant, you say, Oh, I need a bowl of rice. A bowl of soup, apron, right? Okay. What else? Any other? Mm hmm. Okay. Well, going on with the class. Okay, we're done up to now. This lesson is about monitoring personnel. And there is more vocabulary, building your vocabulary. So we are taking advantage and increasing and enriching our vocabulary. So we have work schedule, break, shift, overtime, and call in. And here we have the definitions, right? What you have to do is to draw a line from the word to the correct definition. Work schedule, a chart that presents a list of employees, the days of the week and times of the day they are required to work. That is the work schedule. A break. What do you think it's a break? A uh, small period of time when a person can stop working. To eat or to rest. To eat or rest. Exactly. A small period of time, right? Not a two long, hours for a sleep. A long period. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In my work, the break is 15 minutes. Okay. They usually say a coffee break, all right, when you are at a conference or at a training or a workshop. So a small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest, that is a break. And you say, give me a break, right? <laughs> you need to rest. <laughs> All right. Shift. And the time of the day when a person works. The time of the day when a person works. You say, oh, I'm on my work. I'm on my work shift. Oh, I got the morning shift. I got the afternoon shift, right? Yes. Okay. Overtime. When you work more than the more than the regular working hours in a day or week. You say, oh, I have to do overtime. So you are more than the regular working hours. Okay. Or when you don't usually work on the weekends and you have to work on the weekend or you have to work at night, then you say, oh, I have to do overtime. Right? Like uh, extra hours. Mm -hmm. We usually say that extra hour. 
But when you do overtime, you get paid better, supposedly. Okay. No. <laughs> supposedly. Call in. To telephone to your telephone. Work, please. Sorry. Continue, please. Continue, Carlos. No, no problem. It's very much. <laughs> to telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be as absent or late. Absent, okay, or late. Exactly. When you call in your office, your boss, your supervisor, telling them that you are going to be absent because you're sick because you had an emergency, you had a family issue, or that you're going to be late. <sighs> Those difficult moments <laughs> that you cannot handle. All right. So let's practice the meaning. And of course I can do it here, but let me see. Hmm. Okay, so break, could you repeat what a break is? A small period of time when a person can stop work into it or rest. All right, shift. Shift the time is of the day when time. a person works. All right, time of the day when a person works over time. When you work more than your regular working hours in a day or week. All right, and call in. Carlos, please. He <laughs> went, he left. <laughs> All right, when you telephone, right? Your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. And Carlos didn't even participate before. Yeah. <laughs> it was for my oh, I don't understand you. <laughs> I think Catherine is confused <laughs> with your names. All right. So this is for practicing the vocabulary, but I'm going to give you five minutes. Okay, the idea is que no lo estén viendo, okay? Que traten de recordar la definition. And for example, si usted tra está trabajando con un partner, ustedes tiene que decir, okay. Tell me the definition of work schedule. Entonces, tiene que decir a chart that represents or that presents a list of employees, the date of the week and the times of the day that they are required to work. Yo sé que cuesta un poquito, pero traten de recordar la definición. Por eso es practice, okay? As much as you can remember. Si ya no lo recuerda, pues véalo, pero véalo y deje de ver. The, hasta que recuerde, all right? Let's see. Practice the vocabulary. I'm going to ask you to work with somebody else. Hi, Irma. Hola, hola. Hi, Elsie. 
Hajam. Kostar sini. Dia ringgir. Ah, yo al bote. Ah, yo estoy a 20. Oh. Sí. Let me check, amigo. Let me check. In, in my phone. Fresh. <laughs> Ah, 24, say. <laughs> Maybe outside, <laughs> because inside, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. In the work. Okay. This is the chief. And the overtime is when you uh, have to... Ajá, algunos lugares de trabajo tienen esa, como una pizarra donde ponen los horarios de trabajo. Ok. Ok, next. Break. Um, vamos a ver. A small period of time when a person oh. can keep working to eat a rest. No break is the time of the day when a person works. Um, break. Break a it's small a, period. Uh, it's a small period of time when a person can stop working to eat a rest. Ah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, over time. <laughs> chief it's a chief. Chief, the time of the day when a person works. Uh -huh. Chiefs. The time of the day when a person works. Okay, we have to, to memorize. ¿Ya, ¿Ya se le quedó? Sí, ya se le quedó. ¿Todas? No. Bueno, con los enunciados sí. O sea, ya los veo, ya sé qué es. Porque digo, break es fácil. El small Ajá. period. Chiefs es el tiempo. The time, the day with the person. Eh, breaking, the chief, overtime, when you work more than regular working. Yes. Que ahí te dice lo que es. Y calling to telephone your workplace. El teléfono es <laughs> relation. <laughs> esa palabrita, your... esa palabrita, to telephone your workplace and let, and let them know that you are going to be absent or late. Or late, the yes. And this is the more difficult because it's a it is a big definition. <laughs> yes. Okay, you are your memory is like a flash. You do you have a flash memory? <laughs> <laughs> memory photograph. <laughs> uh, I have a problem um, memorizing something. <laughs> I have to read a lot of time. Well, okay, Colleen. The telephone your workplace to to let them to that you are going to be absent or late. There are, that you are going to be absent or late. Okay. Done. Hector, <laughs> welcome. Thank you, teacher. You got home. 
Busy, um, busy. So you were day. working at home. Yep, working at my home. Oh, and yeah. the last time, and the my boss uh, asked me for three inform informers reports. Report, and I don't when uh, two. That's Necesito over time. Terminar el tercero. <laughs> Sí, lo que pasa es que es para la clase pagarle aprendimos del overtime. Overtime, no, pero es, imagínense. Part of your work. Me van a pagar como 200 dólares más. Ah. Oh, wow. Ay, qué chivo, babo. We're going to a fancy restaurant. Ah, pues le ayudamos, teacher. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo es que dicen los griegos, teacher, to make bank, algo así, va? Como mm. estás haciendo dinero, ¿no? Como que le dicen... Hace poco lo acabo de ver en una, en una película. Ese, un, really? Un, Quizás es sí. mío porque yo no, yo lo que me puedo que ellos dicen time is money. Time is money. Uh -huh. time is money. Another day, another dollar. Mm. Y se van. <laughs> 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 True. Another when it's, when it's time to leave, they just leave. They just say another day, another dollar. Bye. <laughs> bueno. Cosas de la vida. Pasaremos la última tenda, ya que vino esto. <ríe> Adriana. Ya se me fue el Adri. Adriana, are you still here? But she was not feeling well, probably. True, 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 true. Well, anyways. Carlos. Then. Cristina. Person. LC. Fatima. Present teacher. Present teacher. Herman. Present teacher. Hector. Present teacher. Isabel. Present. Catherine. Present teacher. Lucy. Present. Mayra. Present. Nuri. Present teacher. Samuel. Vitelia. Present teacher. Walter. Present. Wendy. Irma. I am here, teacher. All right. Good. Present teacher. Uy, no me recordé de ver quién se queda esta vez. Oh, it says Sam. Well, actually it says Roberto, but Roberto is not here. Ooh. Thank you, Roberto. I appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bueno, si alguien considera que necesita también puede quedarse en algún día, solo me, me dice al inicio. En I take that into consideration. Porque nos quedan dos semanas y con Sam solo nos quedaría Vitelia, Walter, Wendy y Irma. Practically this week. For next week, digamos que ya todos pasaron, aunque yo creo que algunos se han ido sentando. Because, Teacher, ¿cuándo yes, terminamos? We finish the list. On uh, November 21st. November 21st, 21st. Monday. Yes. Ajá, es que recuérdese que la semana pasada por el día de asueto se había se cura hasta la siguiente semana. Okay, one day. Uh -huh. Ajá, se alarga un día más. That's right. Okay. Yeah, y habrá next curso. No creo. Honestly, I don't think so. Maybe in... January, porque ya no lograrían terminar, sobre todo ustedes que son five weeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. En lo de la Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas <laughs> and a Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Imagínense, en el 2023 estamos casi. This is getting old. Bueno, thank you very much for joining. I see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night. 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 How is it going with the platform? Uh, like the last time. I <laughs> haven't tried. Yet. No, I, haven't no, I will tried. do it at the finish. All right. At the, uh, uh, 
at the end i would do it yeah maybe uh you can invest some time at least for the for the midterm it would be yep. great mm -hmm. yeah at least to have the grade of, of of that exam because that would at least give the hint that you are investing time on the on the platform that you are working and the exam probably is not going to take you more than five minutes no 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 the last time i take uh an hour i think to do all the platform really yeah Okay. Yeah, the, the, the last Dedicated. course. Yeah, full. I <laughs> full say, uh, yeah, I'm I'm turn off my phone and my mails and I start to 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 work it's in the platform. Disturbing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. But it's nice. All right. Anything I can help you with? Uh no 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 everything okay the vocabulary is great uh, the dynamic is is very very good. And uh, just like that, the, the 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 last time I tried to to help to help me and to help my my partners. Hi, that's really yeah. cool. I appreciate that. No, it's, for me, it's a pleasure. All right, nice and all right. And so, you tell me what. <laughs> give me a, a feedback to my work and my and my 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 way. Um, for now for my my participation my yeah. performance in the in the in the group yeah it's really cool it's really cool to see that you try to support others that you try to share the knowledge that you try to transmit and encourage them to participate in english that's really good yes of course and the idea of course is of course is to build your vocabulary and your knowledge as well right so every time you you start the class you start you know making the feeling of that everybody has to speak english so that's, that's i mean creating the environment is really it's really cool you know like opening and breaking the ice with any comments or any question in english yeah that gives the the idea to the rest that they must participate in english that's really good something do you know something do you recommend change or modify for me mm, well continue working definitely you know if you could i know it's it's sometimes hard for for some people to to be working on the on the platform but as as an observation because of the philosophy of the program is that i have to be checking yes the, uh -huh, at the same time and i have to be you know writing down the grades and to see the progress that each participant has made. And when I check yours, it's like empty. So I feel like, okay, zero, <laughs> zero. <Yeah. laughs> and yeah. so, but I know you're gonna do it at the end. I mean, that's okay, I think. But if you wanna try, probably it would be, it would be good to, to try to do it at the same time. Okay, I should. Mm -hmm. I will do. All right, we'll do. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. good. All right. So if there's nothing else to deal with, that's all right. Well, thank you very much. All right. Go and rest. How and what I about your, your children projects? Do you finish? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah it's uh, uh, I told you that yeah, the, you the, the German Parliament. Uh huh. Yeah, we uh, at least finish it. And, and they present it. Yeah, the last Friday. In English or in Spanish? In or in German? German. Oh my God. German. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And did you go to see the presentation? No, no. You no. couldn't? No. My, mm -hmm. uh, in my wife prepared my daughter in German. I just oh do the, the, the manual, the manual of the skills. <laughs> the hard work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I can speak German. My wife and my daughter, yes. They do speak German. Yeah. And where did your wife learn? In the Deutsche Schule too. When stop. Cuando decidimos meterla mm -hmm. a la escuela, mm -hmm. que acordamos que uno de los dos tenía que aprender alemán. <laughs> That's not me, is it? <laughs> sí. Entonces eh, me dijo, yo quiero, me da, dale. Entonces ella se metió a los cursos de alemán en paralelo que la niña iba a kinder, primero, segundo, tercero. Mm -hmm. Entonces ahí aprendió. That's y great. ella, eh, eh, sí, no, ella es muy dedicada con el tema de la, 
de la gramática, así, ah, sí, sí, increíble. Entonces, eso le ha ayudado como soporte a Daniela, que es mi hija, para ir a Sí, Andy le digo, por lo menos que se, sepamos qué es lo que nos está diciendo cuando nos está puleando, ¿verdad? Sí, si no les podía tomar el pelo. De este por supuesto. Entonces, Ajá, sí, por eso que bien, ella bien. le ayuda en la parte, en la parte académica eh, de alemán y yo le ayudo en la parte de, de manualidades. That's great. That's great. Well, thank you for sharing. It's a pleasure for me. <laughs> All right. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.